Do you ever feel hungry soon after eating? Or sluggish or tired, even if you've had a full night's sleep? Or maybe you're in your 20s and you feel like you're getting wrinkles prematurely. Or maybe you get headaches and stomach aches throughout the day. Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you seven signs that you're dehydrated and quick ways to rehydrate. <laughs> When it comes to health, beauty, and vitality, it is critical that we stay hydrated on a daily basis. Think about this. The body is made of 60 to 70% water. The blood is 83% water. The brain is 75% water. Water transports nutrients and oxygen to all of our 100 trillion cells and carries away waste and carbon dioxide. It's critical for the optimal functioning of our organs and to look and feel our best. Now, the majority of the population is living chronically dehydrated and it's massively impacting the quality of their life and it's also setting the stage for problems in the future. Every single chemical reaction within the body requires an enzyme and in, an, in a dehydrated environment, our enzymes cannot work properly. Now, here are seven signs that you're dehydrated. If you have a headache, if you're experiencing premature wrinkles like across your forehead and you are maybe in your 20s, if your skin is dry, if your urine is overly yellow during the day, it's normal for it to be a little bit yellow when you wake up in the morning, that's just bile. Yeah, but if it's really yellow during the day, that's a clear sign that, that you're dehydrated. Uh, if you're hungry soon after eating, we can mistake hunger for thirst. And if you have a lack of energy or you're feeling exhausted, even if you're having full night's sleep, these are all signs that you're dehydrated. And if you feel thirsty, that means your body is actually already dehydrated. So now I wanna share with you how do you stay hydrated? I remember when I was 23 years old, I had a bunch of wrinkles going across my forehead and I thought I was aging prematurely. And then I, real, I found out later that I was just dehydrated and once I started drinking proper amounts of water, it went away. So yeah. Um, so how much water should you drink on a daily basis? Honestly, I recommend one ounce per pound of body weight, especially if you're drinking a few caffeinated drinks per day. You're gonna be dehydrated first thing in the morning when you wake up. So to get this amount of water in, what I recommend is start the day with one liter of water. Just make that the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning, before you eat anything, even if it takes you half an hour or so to drink it, just drink the water and if, if it's maybe it's cold where you live, you can always add some hot water to your cold water just so it's room temperature that's gonna make it a little bit easier to drink. Also, you wanna always carry a water bottle with you anywhere you go, okay? So maybe you're going out grocery shopping, bring a water bottle with you. Keep a water bottle in your car so that, you know, maybe when you stop right before you do an errand, you, you drink some water and then you drink more when you get back in the car or keep the water bottle with you in your purse or bring it to work. This way, you're always gonna be drinking water and have a way that you can kind of measure how much you've drank so that you can kind of hit your water quota. So if you start the day with drinking one liter, you've got one liter in. So for me, example, for example, I'm 140 pounds and I will drink about a gallon of water a day. That's four liters. So I drink one when I wake up in the morning. I drink a liter and a half when I'm at the gym because I have a liter and a half water bottle. So that's two and a half liters in. So now I only have one and a half liters left. So usually when I feel like I'm starting to get hungry, maybe an hour before I would eat lunch, I would, eat, I would drink another liter during that time. And then another time on kind of an empty stomach in the afternoon, you drink another liter and there you go. You've got your four liters in. Another thing you can do is you can drink herbal teas that don't contain caffeine. Those are hydrating. And if you don't like the taste of pure water at this time, I highly recommend that you get a water filter so that you're drinking clean water, the tap water will have chlorine or fluoride in, in North America. And those are compounds that you want to avoid. 
so definitely get a water filter. Not only is it gonna make it easier to drink the water because it's going to taste better, but you're also gonna be removing unhealthy contaminants that are not good for your health. Another thing you can do is you can put slices of veggies or fruit in your water and make your own vitamin water. I love to try cucumbers, you could do mint, orange slices are nice, lemon slices, whatever flavors that you like, you can try that out and see what works best for you. So how do you get more water in? I'd love to hear in the comments below. And have you ever tried making flavored water, like adding fruit or cucumber? I would love to hear in the comments below. Also, maybe there's something you've tried that was really tasty. If so, I would love to share. I love trying new ways to drink water because I love drinking water. And also, if you feel like, okay, I can't drink this much water. This is a lot that you're asking, Krista. A gallon of water a day. Well, trust me. If you commit to this, you are going to become more thirsty and you're gonna become more sensitive to being dehydrated. You're gonna to get to feel what dehydration feels like when you start feeling tired or hungry in between meals or sluggish. Now you're gonna know, once you get used to drinking water, okay, I'm dehydrated, I just need to drink some water and I'm gonna feel a whole lot better. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you liked it, please like and subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends and comment below helpful if this video helped you. And also, if you wanna grab my Healthy Fat Loss Secrets ebook, I'm gonna stick that in the description box below. It's free and it'll help you next time you go to the grocery store. And I just wanna let you know that I appreciate you for watching this video and I love you guys and I will see you on the next one. Bye.